Get the f*** out of here! <laughs> Go home! We don't want you here. We don't like your kind here. We only like people in blue cars around here. One more. Don't honk at me. <laughs> Don't honk at me, asshole. <laughs> the gate is open. Time to go through. Are you ready for what's on the other side? No. Nope. <laughs> God dang it. Hey, Asher. Are you scared of videos? He's like, uh, no. <laughs> uh, he ain't scared of much. I mean, if scared I was the biggest... Rabbits. Huh? He's scared of rabbits. Oh, that's true, yeah. Anything that comes up near the door, he's like immediately just like, oh, 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 just frightened of. And then whenever, like, if someone that he knows steps in the door, he's like, hey, friend, friend. It's like Micah earlier when we came back upstairs after just getting done recording, and Asher greeted him at the top of the stairs. Asher was just like, friend, friend, I haven't seen you in so long, friend. And then my dad came over, and he was just like, hey, Hey, I remember you. I only met you one time, but you seem nice. <laughs> yeah. He's Asher. not afraid of rabbits outside. It's like, not when he's barking at them or whatever. He's more afraid of something rustling in the in the brush, like oh. in the garden or whatever. Well, we did have a bear uh, over by the the highway. I told you about that, right? Uh, Nick told me about it. Yeah. So. Every time I take him out, I'm always like looking out, being like, "Should I take my rifle out with me?" Mm, you better to just take him out on a leash. Yeah, at that point. Which I haven't heard anything else about the bear or anything like that, or seen anything from the bear. And besides, I think Asher could take him. No. I know Asher's a big softy. Look at him. Oh, such a sweetheart. Uh, you know what, though? Enough talking about scary, like, bears and stuff like that. We got a scary comp here from Bizarre Bub. And, uh, I guess we're gonna check it out. And, uh, oh, okay, also the main reason I clicked this is because there was a doll in the yeah. thumbnail. And I was like, that'll scare Kate, right? Good. So, uh... They already tried to scare me earlier. Well, Nick tried to. Me, I had nothing to do with that. Bullshit. No, I didn't tell Nick to do anything. <laughs> he literally went back there, and he was just like, he just looks up you at me. You played along with it, though. No, I was just like, hey, Kate, how you doing? I. Like, you knew he was there. I did know he was there, but is it my job to tell you that he was there? You could have. No. He didn't really scare me that well, though. I know. and it, Honestly, I think maybe you were expecting it. You know, somebody I mean, I already, told me not to go that way, so that's why I, mean, I didn't. I mean, I already scared the hell out of you, like, the like the day before with the lights. You remember that? Yeah, I was a drum kit. Yeah. It was more just the loud sound that got me. Yeah, because all of a sudden the hero was just like, doo -doo. <laughs> and all yeah. of a sudden it was just like, the lights came on. You were just like, oh, shit. <laughs> I did that to Micah earlier, too. I showed Micah how it worked, and he was just like, dude, that is nice. And I was like, yeah, it is. Did you hook up that other thing? Not yet. I don't have the cables for it. The cables for it will be in uh, tomorrow, I think. Mm. So, yeah. Um, either way, though, I mean, enough of that scary stuff. Let's get into this scary stuff. This is Bizarre Bub's Scary Comp number 74. Asher, you gonna protect your mama? <laughs> nope, he's he hiding too. No. <laughs> he's hiding too. Look at him. He's like, nope, I'm hiding. Hey, no, 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 no. Asher, no. stay, buddy. Lay down. Or you, or you rearranging yourself? Okay, there he goes. He's like, it's too bright. There he goes. Big exhale. Here we go. A mother is alone at home watching TV when something pretty terrifying is caught on camera. The following video comes from Daniel Thompson, who lives happily with his mother in a three-story house that is filled with lots of antiques and other Fuck priceless that. items that are fairly hey, it's buddy the uh, from buddy the bunny, uh, bought dummy. overseas to Isn't small that collectibles from that can... bumps? Yep. That's what I thought. Night of the Living Dummy. Can't be found anywhere else. No, no, that's Slappy. He was uh, Slappy was the, was the name of the dummy in that one. 
Daniel's mom has been collecting many antiquities ever since he was a child. However, out of all the items in this house, two in particular scare him the most. A porcelain doll that is placed at the front entrance of the house, and a dollhouse that for some reason makes him feel extremely uneasy. The dollhouse, according to Daniel, does something very strange. Here's a video of him talking about it. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, the only thing I can say that has happened with it is sometimes when I walk by or like I'm, I go, the bathroom's back there and I walk through and I hear like tapping coming from this room. It's like, uh, uh it's, it's like, um, kept happening and I came over and I was trying to figure out like where it was coming from but it was coming from this dollhouse and I don't know where and it hasn't done it since. Daniel thinks that the tapping noises are coming from inside the dollhouse which is in the room that his sister used to be in. For this reason he's been recording it ever since with a security camera to see if the knocking continues and to hopefully find the source but then one day while passing by the room this happens. It's late at night when Daniel captures this. Guys. Do you hear that? Those are the tapping noises I was talking about. Ain't no way in hell I'm going in that damn room. Uh-uh. What if there was so, like his sister was like playing a trick on him and she was like under there and he the moment he pulled up she was like ah! that would have got me for sure yeah <laughs> Seriously, the source of the tapping sounds can't be found anywhere. Even the three knocks that were heard on the small door are a mystery. Without a clue as to where they came from, Daniel continues to record the dollhouse. But only a day later, something happens ah. that chills Daniel to his core. Take a look. Somehow, the miniature figurines move on their own as though someone or something was playing with them. As if the tapping noises weren't enough to spook Daniel, this happens. Understandably, he had no words when he saw this video. He began to think that his mom may have brought either a cursed or haunted item into their house. Not sure what to make of it, Daniel doesn't mention nor post any more footage of the dollhouse. But then, two nights later, something happens that impels him to share the following footage. It's around 2.30 in the morning 
when this is captured. Okay. Hello? That damn doll is right there. Frickin' A. No, that's the worst mistake you can make. Yep. I'm gonna say, if there's ever a knocking at my door and I look out and I don't see anybody at my front door, I'm gonna be like, Devil, go away. Never come back again. Devil, go away. Never come back again. In nombre Padre et Fille Espiritu Santo. Yeah, no. Doll's gonna fall off the table. Oh. Also, the cycles of the moon for like the welcome mat inside. That's that's pretty. It's different. Yes, yeah, I'm not sure what to make of that. The sound of knocking can be heard at the door. But strangely, the footage from outside shows no one at the entrance. Who, or even what, had been knocking at the door. Now what's even more strange about this is that the same number of knocks were made earlier in the dollhouse video. Fearing that the dollhouse might have something to do with this, Daniel places the miniature set inside his garage. He continues to record it, just in case the knocking mm -hmm. continues. Of course, he sets doll heads yeah, on it. Yeah, like, what, dude, the, what fuck, the hell? Dude. Ugh. If it does, then he'll know for sure the knocking came from the set itself and not from the room it was in. Fast forward to a day later, and nothing happens. The next video Daniel uploads has nothing to do with the strange activity in his house. Instead, it's a video of him recording his workplace. Nothing is mentioned about the previous incidents or any new activity that's been captured. It seems that whatever had been happening in his house has stopped. But then, out of nowhere, Within a couple hours of posting this video, Daniel receives a message from his mom. It's a video of security footage taken from inside their living room. We can see Daniel's mom watching TV when suddenly this happens. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. No, no, no. Hell no. The sound of bare feet running towards Daniel's mom can be heard on camera. Feeling very spooked, she looks around but can't find anything that could explain the running footsteps. It was at this point that both Daniel and his mom were convinced that something is haunting them. Although already convinced, it seems that it didn't stop the strange activity from continuing. Only a day later, Daniel looks over at the footage caught inside the garage and sees this. Around the same time the footsteps are caught on camera, this happened. If there's a doll that moves, I'm good. <laughs> I know you're gonna shit, but don't, please don't. I was gonna say, I mean, this couch is already- I do not like- Kate, this dolls. couch is already brown. It doesn't need a resealing. Where is Grogu? Back here. Do you want him? I can't cover my face with that. Either. You're trying to do it with your vape, and that's hilarious to me. I got like tears in my eyes and everything, man. It's not cool. It's I'm right. not like dolls. I know you don't. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, this is traumatic for you. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm going to watch it, but it's going to... Sorry. Please don't let the doll move. 
Oh, it's just the knocking. Okay. Nope. It's eyes. Nope. Fuck that. The eyes are opening Holy and closing. Holy shit. Uh-uh. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> so it's you, you little bastard. All right. Immediately, I'm picking that up. I'm taking that out back. And I'm <sighs> setting that shit on fire. Mm-mm. It's opening like the whole way and then closing. Yeah, I know. That is creepy as fuck. <laughs> That's pretty that creepy. Ain't cool. gonna lie. Uh. Both the tapping sounds and the doll's eyes are no doubt creepy. Yet some viewers believe that the doll is actually mechanical and was either malfunctioning or glitching during this time. This notion, however, is put to rest, as a video from Daniel shows that the doll is entirely hollow from inside. Uh -huh. Given this proof, viewers believe that something is haunting both Daniel and his mom. Oh my god. Or not <laughs> that's so, I'll let you come up with your- Oh no. Just it in the dark in the night vision. It's just like, Not Bleh. cool. Like, Bleh. Especially if the eyes were started blinking then. Like, damn. I need to get the yeah. hell out of there. Like, all of a sudden, it's just like, you look at the doll. You look at the doll, and it just goes, it just looks at you and just does this, this. It goes. No. Uh -uh. Yeah, just no. that one solid blink. Your own conclusion. Is something haunting this house? Or is something else happening here? Definitely Feel free haunted. to let me know what you think. It's by it one could of those be. animal or one of those dolls or the doll house objects or whatever. Cause she said she had a lot of antiques in there, so yeah, that's the pretty good. Is woken up late at night by her dog, who is barking nonstop at something outside her house. Sounds Feeling familiar. Feeling very unsettled by her dog's behavior, she takes out her phone huh? and records the following video. What she sees leaves her in total shock. I don't know. Whoa. Is that a person? It is. It's standing there right at the edge of the... Oh, hell no. At the little interior okay. wall there. Although it's hard to see at first, there seems to be a shadow-like figure standing completely still while seemingly observing the woman who shakes in fear at the sight of this mysterious being. Immensely terrified, Where's she the at? woman back backyard. Backyard. Backs away slowly, hoping the shadowy figure doesn't move any closer to the property. It's safe to say that the strange presence has placed both her and her dog on high alert. But it would be the following night that places them in a state of complete terror. What happens next is beyond strange. Hola, gente. Otra vez el ruido ese. Poco estoy haciendo mi compañía hoy, pero ya estoy sola. Todavía se escucha el ruido de abajo. Y la verdad que no sé. Ay, la con el olor a algo ahí. Sora. Wow. 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 No! No, 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 no. It fucked off whatever it was. Horrified beyond belief, a pair of long, skinny fingers emerge from underneath the staircase. But creepiest of all is the complexion of this mysterious being. Its pale skin tone is similar to that of a corpse that was freshly buried. Without delay, the woman runs down the staircase at full speed, hoping to capture whatever this was. But upon arriving down, nothing is seen below the stairs. What the fuck whatever would you run there, towards it? Seemingly disappeared. Hell no. Whether I ain't a ghost running towards or some nothing. paranormal <laughs> entity had been caught on camera. I haven't seen this much this much like gusto when it comes to hunting down ghosts uh, outside of those Arabian dudes that kick the doors open. You ever seen those? Uh -uh. Yeah, this Arabian dude is just like is just like closing the door, or just like oh, like tries to open the door, and the door closes back, and the door closes back on him, uh -huh. like it pushes back against him. 
And he's just like, he's like, Alhamdulillah. And the bear like kicks the door open. And he's, and he's just like, he's like, he's like, he's like, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. And just like, like saying God is great, God is great, great yeah, God is good. And then, uh, and then just goes on like saying, are you in here? Where are you? Mm-hmm. And then there's the Chinese dude, or, or the, sorry, I think he's, no, he's a, yeah, he's a Chinese dude. Uh, he basically is just like, um, every time uh, he sees something paranormal, he literally tells the, like, the ghost, be like, fuck your mother. Literally. in in, in In Chinese, or in Mandarin, I think he's speaking. Hmm. He's just like, he, he's just like, fuck your mother. It's like, why would you want to piss it off? Yes, I don't think he cares. Oh. Camera remains shrouded in mystery. Yeah, that one's unexplainable. I don't know. Now, the exact yeah. source of this next clip is unknown, so very little context is given. But it doesn't take much to El figure Kukui. out what's going on in the video. Something very strange is caught on camera. The clip itself shows footage of a dog's cage. It's assumed the owner had bought the camera to watch their dog whenever they're away from home. Yeah, on it's one a furbo occasion, camera. The owner was looking over at the security camera to see what their dog was up to. But to their shock, they saw what may just be a reason for why they should be concerned for the safety of their dog. This is what they saw. Right from the start, we can see the dog looking at something that can't be seen on camera. Then strangely, without a moment's notice, the dog is seemingly thrown back as though something had struck them. But strangest of all is the door opening on its own immediately afterward as though someone or something had went inside. But like always, yeah. what do you think? Is this video solid proof of a ghost haunting a dog? Or might this be something that could easily be explained? Let me know your thoughts on this one. There's no way to explain that. I mean, how do you if explain you... a force moving the dog like that? Well, it could be that, or it could be the dog just moving like that. Because I've seen like, the cats move awkwardly and like jump crazily whenever they were just like running zoomies. But did or... you notice his fur, though? Yeah, it got pushed. It looked like it got pushed a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. That might be something. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. Okay. This next video comes from a bus driver in Singapore who had no idea that his day would start off with a very spooky encounter. It's 7 in the morning somewhere in Singapore when the driver of a large double-decker bus checks the security cameras of both decks inside the vehicle. On his dashboard, we can see live footage of what looks to be an empty bus, but upon looking closely, something pretty unnerving is seen on camera. Take a look. Uh... <coughs> Oh, I see it. Yeah, who the fuck is that? Okay, got that near the one then. You walk to the way buggy that was Rama. Be when I do got that. As if seeing someone in what is supposed to be an empty bus wasn't creepy enough, the bus driver checks around and finds no one inside. It appears that whoever or whatever was seen on camera had simply vanished. If no one had been inside the bus, then who or what was this? Hmm, I don't I can't know. Explain it. I can't On March either. 6th of 2023, 
a Reddit user had taken a photo of his kitchen late at night. The Reddit user claims that over the last couple of years, he's been hearing mysterious noises coming from his apartment. For the longest time, he's been trying to figure out the source of these noises. But then one night, while being in his living room, he takes a photo of his kitchen and captures this. Oh, hell Whoa. no. Whoa. Nope. Micah? <laughs> Micah, what the fuck are you doing in this person's house? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why? Why does it look so much like Mike? I don't know. I just like, <laughs> it's like I, I see it and I'm just like, I'm like. Like with his hair down. Yeah. No glasses on. And, you know, hair down. That's Micah. Like, You're in a black outfit or something. Sort. Looks like you got a name tag right here. Mike, is this, is this what you wear whenever you're working on night vision goggles? Are you testing out the night vision goggles, Micah? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> you're just in there, and you're just like, okay, this is what it looks like without the night vision goggles. And this is what it looks like with the night. Yep, they work. <laughs> okay, we're good now. It's like, Let me just you, freak out this woman. It's like, will you get or out of man. my house? Yeah, it's like, will you get out of my house now? <laughs> yeah, I've conducted the test. I'm good now. <laughs> it was only after enhancing the photo that he was able to see what looks to be a tall figure standing in his kitchen. He believes that whoever this is, is the person responsible for the strange noises he would hear at night. While the figure itself is pretty creepy, viewers believe that the Reddit user had actually caught something paranormal. Whatever this is, appears to have no eyes and seems to be very tall when comparing it to the fridge on the side. But it only gets creepier because only a few days later, the Reddit user had posted a video of another strange occurrence. He left his camera recording overnight where the figure was spotted and captured this. If you look closely, you can see what looks to be a figure moving in the dark, but it's only after brightening the footage that the video becomes even more scary. This mysterious figure might just be the same person or thing caught in the previous photo. Now it could be that a squatter is hiding inside his apartment, but then again, some viewers think that this supposed person is actually something supernatural. Hmm. You know, I've had the thought in my head, like there's someone, uh, whenever I heard like uh, heard about like people squatting in the house and everything. I thought to myself when I was living in the mansion. I thought to myself, I never go up onto the top floor of this place. Mm -hmm. I wonder if anyone is up there. And lo and behold, I go up there and I don't see anything. I'm I'm happy about that. I'm ecstatic about that. Is this before Nikki and Chad were up Yes. This okay. is before Chad and Nikki had moved in. This was after I'd lived there for about five, six months. I was I walked up the spiral staircase and then I looked around I'm like I I was just like I was like looking, like seeing if anything I looked in the closets, I looked in the thing I, and the thing is, I'd been living there that long, and I'd never, like, been up there outside of, like, checking the house out initially. Did you live there by yourself? Uh, no. Nick, uh, lived... Or, no, not Nick at that time. Uh, Ben lived oh. with me at that time, and... Yeah. That was for around eight to nine months that he lived with me, and mm -hmm. he rarely ever left the house. So I... I... There was always someone in the house... So, yeah, I don't know. But there could have been. No, I, no. Well, there could have been, but thankfully, it it did. It wasn't the case. Now here, well, it'd be a lot more difficult to pull off because where we go to basically every part of the house all the time every day. Yeah. The only part that we don't go to is the attic part that's accessible through the garage. 
Mm -hmm. But even then, you know, I wouldn't expect to find anything. There's no way anybody could get into the garage. And there's no way. Out there. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, I I just have no fear of uh of like any anything happening in this house like that because everyone in this house is armed. I mean, yeah. everyone in this house does have a weapon to defend themselves, especially from, you know, tall uh, you know what I think this is? I think this is a Micah mimic. This is someone trying to mimic Micah. And, uh, yeah, because they knew we were going to watch this it, video it, or something. Exactly. And now <laughs> next time Micah cut, which Micah was over earlier today, and I wish we'd have watched this with him now yeah. so that I could have just been like. <laughs> what the heck, man? <laughs> Micah, why are you breaking into this person's house? But What's I, weird is it doesn't have eyes. Yeah. Uh, honestly, something like this would actually make a good, like, horror movie short scenario. Mm -hmm. Because it'd literally be you say, I'd just be like, hey guys, so I'm posting this on here for posterity. I am convinced that my house is haunted. That something is, like, something is wrong with my house. And the thing is, the reveal of, like, the, the thing, the entity that is in your house... Something like that, that looks human. Mm -hmm. You know, because a demon, you know, like, what you get in Insidious, you know, with the red face, the yeah. sharp, you know, the sharp teeth and everything, that's all well and good and creepy. Mm -hmm. But once that initial shock of it goes away, then there's not as much, there's not as much to it. Yeah. There, like, once you see it again, you're just like, oh, a scary face again. But this... Where you don't 100% understand what it looks like. All you see is just the shadowy figure in the dark. Mm -hmm. And you can't really make out any of the features because of the limitations of, like, the camera that you're using. Yeah. And I would say here, like, if like if this is a more high-definition, like, night vision camera, maybe we would see a set of eyes. Maybe. Maybe, maybe he's just squinting like this. You know, and it's just, like, hard to make out because of, uh, because it looks like that. Or because of how the camera is. But yeah, anyway, sorry. There haven't been any further updates on the story, but until then, you be the judge on what was captured. Okay. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time. So yeah. That baby one looks really scary. That one? <laughs> on Thomas the Tank Engine? Mm hmm. I'll leave a like on that one. That one was good. Yeah. So there you go, everybody. Bizarre Bub with Scary Comp number 74. Some pretty scary stuff. Not gonna lie. I mean, I mean, honestly, uh, the creature from under the stairs, the first story, which took up the vast majority of the runtime on this. Yeah, I think he should have swapped it. I think he should have made that number one. Because of how long it was, yeah. yeah. But... Overall, yeah, this was this was really good. I I, I like this a lot. Mm -hmm. So, anywho, I guess we're going to end it here. So, was that you, Asher? Yep. He was just exhaling? Mm -hmm. Just, like, he, he <laughs> even he's sick of hearing me monologue. So, all right. Until next time, everybody. I'm Nate. I'm Kate. This is Asher. And that's Baby Grogu. Yeah. And we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Bye-bye.